Eric Ten Hag has told Ineos that he needs more depth in the squad, but is Ahmad Diallo part of that future that Ten Hag is hoping to get from his new bosses? Welcome to the Net and Sport. My name is Webb. We have got an update concerning a player that we all really love at the club. I think it's only Eric Ten Hag who does not fit Ahmad Diallo the way we do. There could be a reason why, but a decision is said to be made on the future of this kid. Now, uh, well, I first of all remind you to subscribe and of course share the video, like it as well. Uh, but uh, as we do count down to the game against Crystal Palace, there is certainly expectations and hope that maybe for that one rare time we could see a Mad Diallo starting a game of football for Manchester United, considering the concerns, the injuries, the absentees, and everyone and, and everything going on around the club. Shouldn't we be seeing a Mad Diallo start at least this one game? We've got only three games left to the end of the season. Ahmad is yet to start a single full game ever since he returned from injury. Now, Eric Ten Hag doesn't seem to have him in his plans, really. He has, he has proven that. I think to him, he's only as good as coming off the bench. There could be reasons why that is so. But uh, what is happening now is that this boy is set to sit with his uh, representatives and make a decision on his future. Because uh, where we are now, uh, it's, a, it's a time for uh, Manchester United to, you know, uh, clean clean the house. In your clear are cleaning the house. And Eric Ten Hag has asked Ineos that he needs more depth in the squad. Now, Ahmad Diallo, we look at him as a player who would bring depth in this squad. But the reality is Eric Ten Hag, for as long as he stays, because Ahmad is one of those players who are waiting for the decision on the future of Eric Ten Hag to then make a final decision for himself, whether he stays or leaves, because he's certainly not so happy under Eric Ten Hag. So, uh, since Eric Ten Hag looks likely to stay, Ahmad now is set to make a decision on his future. He's already seeing United being, uh, you know, linked to players in his position, uh, uh, players like uh, Michael Olise. Uh, United has been linked to, the, but there's also a possible return of uh, either General Sancho or Greenwood. Uh, there is a possible return for, the, for those two. And then Anthony is there. No one is talking about Anthony. Eric Ten Hag might want to keep his Anthony. So uh, Ahmad has been shown the signs already that he's not in the plans of the manager. And the manager seems to be trusted by Ineos. So he's set to make his future. And don't you be shocked if this boy opts to leave the club. His contract that, he has, uh, that is running currently ends in the summer of 2025. So he has got a year left on his contract, you would say, uh, just over a year left on that contract. And uh, for, for him, he feels he's a, at the time, he's in the ripe time for him to start playing consistently at the topmost level of English football. So whereas he was loaned at Sunderland and he humbly took the loan, it benefited him, he returns, gets injured, now has to try and fight and come back to full fitness. He feels he's ready, but he's not trusted by Ineos and the whole project they are building. So that is why he's coming out to say he's about to make a decision and his representatives have not been happy for a long time. And uh, that's why, uh, don't be shocked by the way, if Ahmad Diyar is one of the players who leave Man United first. Now, how much would United get from Ahmad? We bought him for, I think, just over 30 million euros or thereabout, I think. Uh, and he was bought for well, uh, quite a, 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 a significant fee for a young player like him back then from Atalanta. Uh, but United, I think, could price him, uh, could sell him at about 35 million pounds or thereabout. 35, 30, between 30 and 40 million pounds is what United would be hoping to get off him. If they get a, a, a club willing to pay that amount, I think they would obviously let him go. Whether that would be a good thing, because we think, I feel like this is a player who gives uh, you good dimension, uh, a, a, a good dimension. He can play. Both on, on both wings, he can come through the middle, he drops deep and carries the ball, he carries along, he makes his teammates look good, but he is not in the long-term plans of Eric Ten Hag. And because of that frustration that he has even shown already on his social media platforms, Ahmad looks likely to make a decision soon, and that decision, unfortunately, might be to leave Manchester United. You can give me your two cents on that, whether you really think Ahmad should be let go of, or he should be one of the untouchables, because, I mean, he's a young boy, really. We are talking of a, a kid, really. I mean, you don't rule off a young footballers just like that. I mean, if he's a, he's a young, promising footballer, you don't rule him off. The boy is just 21, really. You cannot be letting him go just like that after him proving that he can be a, an important player. He's proving he has got the talent. You don't just, uh, you know, uh, let them live just like that. But, unfortunately, because he's not in the plans of the boss, uh, he's definitely uh, willing to uh, move on and uh, try to find uh, better or happy days, happier days at Manchester United, uh, rather away from Manchester United. So that's the situation uh, going on with our beloved Ahmad Diallo. 
Now, speaking of Ahmad, I think the same position he plays is where we usually want to uh, we usually want to see uh, Jadon Sancho. Jadon Sancho apparently there has been a report that has just suggested that uh, Manchester United, Eric Ten Hag actually confirmed himself. They have been making you know trips to uh, to to Germany to try and to talk to uh, Jadon Sancho to try and see uh, you know play and work out a way on his future. And uh, probably that is two way. The, the talks have been both to try and see whether he really wants to return and whether they can bring him back, whether Borussia Dortmund are willing to pay for a permanent move for him or they let go of him, forget about him and move on. So uh, it looks like uh, the player has communicated that he does not really want to return to Manchester United, doesn't look really excited to return. I think he's happy at Borussia Dortmund. Now they're trying to find a formula to see what then ca can they do. Are there, is there a possible swap deal? Maybe Borussia Dortmund want him. Is there a player United would use and perhaps take a direct swap deal, get a player from Dortmund, and uh, have have a a a a mad a mad a rather a uh, uh, Jadon Sancho stay there permanently or return permanently. Uh, so uh, those are some of the things that United has been you know looking at. But Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that what he wants is depth, and that they have been following and talking to Jadon Sancho. They have been making trips and trying to discuss with him uh, to try and see a possible solution. On his future. Remember, United was linked with Daniel uh, uh, Malin uh, from Borussia Dortmund, and perhaps if a swap deal is something that uh, uh, Borussia Dortmund would, would, would want to, do, to take for Jadon Sancho, if they feel Sancho is a better option than uh, uh, Malin, uh, Daniel Malin, then and United still want him, then I think that swap deal uh, could pro possibly happen. Maybe a swap and a little more cash or something. So. Remember, the, the issue with United now, because there is no cash, they're now trying to devise means. They're trying to devise means of coming up with a, with a strategy where they can lose players uh, in the squad they have and get players they want without really spending so much. So get your small budget and negotiate good swap deals that are going to give you good players, but you give a mediocre player and add some cash. Give a mediocre player, add some cash. So that's exactly what uh, uh, Ineos are trying to come up with as a solution to this uh, you know, uh, uh, conundrum they are in because of no cash, yet there is a big glaring need for new players at the club. Well, that's where we are as Manchester United. But going back to the match uh, tonight, of course, Crystal Palace up against Manchester United. Uh, I, 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 I am uh, I'm hoping that Ahmad Diallo of course, will come in in that one. He might not start. If he does, that will be the best of surprises. But I'm hoping he comes on. Honestly, I expect uh, there's one thing I'm, I'm hoping that the technical director can do already is to try and and influence certain selections and decisions made by the manager. Because yes, whereas the manager is independent, he's the boss, he's the what. I mean, if there's a technical director, they they can co contribute. He's got to account to the technical director especially when it comes to certain decisions involving players at a time like this when there are players there are certain young players who are needed but have been frustrated by it and hug for so long i think it's only right that jason wilcox gets involved himself involved in what eric ten hag is doing to try and push him so maybe if he does that and uh, because they have been meeting apparently consistently on a daily i'm hoping that we see a change on the pitch that eric ten hag perhaps that's an amad for example we see amad yellow starting a game of football and um, we then judge and say, okay, now Eric Ten Hag is being influenced. He's not doing his things the way he wants them. Because it's still definitely logical for anyone who follows Man United and who follows football why Ahmad Diallo is yet to start a game of football. Unless it's a contractual thing. Someone said that uh, there is a, in his contract there is a clause with Atalanta where he United pays a certain amount of money if he starts a game or if he plays so many minutes and stuff. I find I found it you know shallow if that was the case, but not impossible considering the people who are negotiating most of these deals before. Uh, of course, uh, 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 this uh, this whole in your team came through. So let's wait and see what will happen uh, tonight. It will be action time. That's an update for you. We will keep following this story concerning Ahmad Diallo and of course his future that is set to be decided. Stay here. My name is Web. Subscribe.